Introducing the Iron Man Mark III helmet. Welcome to the Iron Man Mark III 3D printed helmet. Yes, it's finally complete. Almost. I mean, uh, since I've done started doing this, I have come up with more ideas, and I'm working on them right now. The infrastructure is already set up, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. Uh, I will show you what this one does, though, currently. So, uh, first of all, the exterior uh, does resemble the one in the first movie fairly closely. Um, you will notice a lot of the details are mimicked, and of course, if you've seen my previous video, you'll already recognize this feature. I'm really happy. It actually does help me get my head into the helmet uh, a lot. So I'm really happy with that. And the, the paint job on here uh, and the bodywork, um, considering this is 3D printed, you don't really see any evidence of that. And that's a big thanks to Surreal Studios for showing me uh, some tricks with, with, uh, with that. Uh, the paint is a silver uh, platinum base coat with a translucent uh, metal cast red. Um, and then there's a satin clear coat on top. The gold is simply um, uh, Krylon gold. And so it actually mimics the, uh, the, the gold color from the movie as well. So, uh, one of the features on here that other helmets do have, uh, I'm not the first one to do this, but I, I did want to include it in mine, uh, is the jaw piece actually lowers in the movie. Uh, if you watch the movie, you'll see when the faceplate opens, the jaw lowers. So I'll just demo that here while it's off. Uh, so you can see the effect. Okay, uh, it does have a, a stop limit so it doesn't drop down too far, but it is connected to the servo mechanism 2.0 uh, that's in the forehead tab here. So it's all rigged to one motion, which uh, makes it pretty consistent and uh, pretty accurate. Um, so I'll show you that uh, in action uh, momentarily. But that's uh, basically it for the external parts of the helmet. Let's take a trip inside. So, um, first off uh, is the servo, well, the hardware, the electronics here. Okay, so there's your Arduino Pro Mini 3.3 volt, your SparkFun audio soundboard. Uh, this is the audio amplifier and Adafruit ADXL335 accelerometer. Uh, there is a two inch or, uh, speaker over here. That is wired uh, to the board here, and I've used this new wiring technique, um, well, it's not new, it's new for me, uh, to make sure that the strain on the wires isn't at the solder points, it's here on the, the thick wire part. Um, this is the power switch at the back, okay, and again, this is if you have the full, uh, complete servo mechanism unit, okay. Uh, I'm now using four AA batteries because previously uh, I used the LiPo batteries and they just aren't powerful enough. Uh, to control the new servo mechanism. So I went with this, even though they're not rechargeable and they take up more space, it, you get the power from it is worthwhile, uh, is worth the trade-off. So uh, this white JST connector, uh, well that's a servo, that's where that connects, white JST connector goes all the way down this wire to the light board in the faceplate here. Uh, and this is my standard board, if you've seen, you've probably seen this before. Uh, I've got these little tabs on the inside of the faceplate that um, perfectly fit for this center piece board. And then there are the two uh, boards on the side. There's only four LEDs per eye now, um, but you do get, uh, it's, uh, it's just totally fills uh, these lenses that uh, also created by Surreal Studio as well. I created them, he cast them for me out of translucent resin, and I put some black electrical tape on the back to stop the light from bleeding into my eyes. Uh, this LiPo battery here, I am using for just the eyes, which uh, reduces, you know, any strain on these batteries. So they can be dedicated mostly for the servo. Uh, and then you can just, uh, there's a JST plug in there to connect that. So that's basically it. Now the only other thing I'll just show you is uh, this pipe leading up the side here. It's basically a straw, um, which I've hot glued in. And it runs this fishing line, it's really thin here, uh, to the third hole on the arm. So what that does is when that opens, it gives some slack through here that connects to the jaw. And I basically just got this blob of uh, hot glue on the end of the fishing line there. So that uh, allows the jaw to rotate around this uh, pivot joint. And that's, uh, 
that's about it. The only other thing in the bottom, I did include, or the top of the helmet, I guess, I did include some foam. Uh, it is closed cell foam that you'll find um, inside most hockey helmets as well. So that's it. That's uh, uh, Servo Mechanism 2.0. If you want to see that, uh, by all means, you can click here, 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 here ish, there. Click here. Yep. Uh, and you can go watch how the new server mechanism 2.0 works. Uh, if you want to see more about this lovely item, you're going to have to wait a bit longer. <laughs> I don't have that done yet, but I'm working on it. Uh, I do have my new Cyclops uh, 2.0 visor done, but that video is coming up momentarily. So, um, one more thing I want to show you about the helmet. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot this. Okay, well let's just see how this works in action. If you've watched the start of the video, you've already seen it once, but let's just show you what actually happens here. When you start up the uh, helmet, it gives you about 10 seconds here before Jarvis pipes up. Uh, and that's just to give you enough time to get your head in the helmet and get it secured. And then it's like, oh no, there's Jarvis, great. Uh, so there's the eyes, and then... He's online ready, so now all you gotta do is tilt your head back. Ah, and uh, the faceplate opens. And as you can see, there's lots of space in there. I mean, considering the server only rotates 90 degrees, uh, it creates a lot of opening for you to see and for people to see your face. And that's what you want. Okay, and then all you do is tilt it forwards, and it closes. And of course, it includes the sound effects because when you have a plastic helmet, you don't get that nice metal clang. And when it opens, of course, you get the nice whoosh. Ah, beautiful. Okay. So that's it. This is the Iron Man Mark III 3D printed helmet, finally with the servo mechanism 2.0. Thanks for watching.